Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Moments Marco Royce. So as you can see the SPC has been completed and here he comes, the legend from Borussia Dortmund, the one club man, the icon of the game himself, German midfielder Marco Royce. He comes out as a 96 rated right wing. 97 pace, 93 shooting, 95 passing, 96 dribbling and 83 physical. Phenomenal looking card. Let's get into the key stats and then we get into the gameplay and I'll give you guys an overview at the end. Okay, so as you can see on the card, he is 5 foot 11, right footed. He does have the 5 star skills with a 4 star weak foot and on top of that he has the high medium work rates. Looking at his stats, you can see he's got 97 pace with 99 acceleration. He's got 93 shooting with 94 positioning, 95 shot power and 94 volleys. He's got 95 passing with 97 vision, 96 crossing, 96 free kick accuracy as well as short passing and 99 curve. So you already know he's going to be a demon on those finesse shots. He's got a whopping 96 dribbling with 97 reactions as well as ball control and 96 dribbling and composure. 58 defending, not really too relevant on this card. He's got 83 physical which is actually a pretty big boost from his gold card if I'm not mistaken with 97 stamina. So he should be able to run all game long, no problems there. Okay, so anyway, that's pretty much the key stats, that's what you can look forward to on the card. Um, let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays and like I said, I will give you guys an overview at the end. So we start here with Mane, down to Cancelo, over the top to Royce who finishes it across the keeper. Great finish. Here we come down with Royce, we get through, we do a nice little skill here to get past the defender. Good shot, good save at the near post before coming down with Royce again. Slaloms his way through the defense and he unleashes a beautiful strike across the keeper, leaving him stranded with no chance. We come back down here with Royce, we start the counter attack with him, we play this ball over to Hakimi. We do get past the defender, we play it back into Royce who finishes the chance with a plum. And we go from defense to attack in seconds with Royce starting and finishing the chance. Here we do an interception and score a nice little chip shot there with Royce. Before coming back down and Bellingham, playing this ball into Royce as well. One touch and a great finish around the keeper there. Here again we get the ball Mane. Mane plays this ball into De Bruyne. De Bruyne into Royce and a fantastic finish shot from distance. Looping it over the keeper and giving him no chance. Here we come again with Royce. We play a nice ball here over to Bale. Bale on the volley. Unfortunately keeper saves it but Hakimi does come up clutch there with the header to get us a goal. Here again we come down with Royce. We take one touch after the tackle. Outside footed shot right across the keeper. Beautiful shot leaving him stranded yet again. Before coming back down here again, playing to De Bruyne with a nice sombrero flick and a spectacular volley, looping volley there, giving the keeper no chance yet again. Here we come down again with Royce, we just kind of dribbling from side to side here, a nice little rainbow flick there, weak footed finish and giving the keeper no chance again. Here we come with Royce, another rainbow flick there and another beautiful finish before coming with a free kick here, first chance with a free kick with Royce, he steps up. Tucks it away, no worries there. Here we get the ball with Royce. We get some nice little dribbling in here. He comes down, uh, a few little heel to heels there, side to side, and a great chip shot there, which the defender turns in. Royce here with another great finish there on the volley. Here we get another free kick with Royce, which he does finish yet again with a plum. That was a beautiful looking free kick. Before coming down here again with Royce, he comes back on the inside. Finesse shot on his weaker foot across the keeper. That was a strange shot type, but he does score before tucking away yet another free kick there. This one the best of the lot from far out with some real good power. He hits this one with venom and he does beat the keeper. All ends up. Okay, so here we steal the ball. Mane, we play it into Royce. Royce runs across the goals before coming back onto the inside. He unleashes a beautiful finesse shot once again, leaving the keeper stranded as he finds the back of the net. And here he comes again with some nice little dribbling here, leaving the defenders all confused pretty much. He does inside, outside, step over, skill moves here. Defenders are all confused. They don't know where to go, what to do. And as you can see, they end up just tackling him into his own goals. Here we do a nice little skill there and a great finish. 
before coming right back down yet again with Royce. We're going to do another little dribble here. And again, <laughs> defenders just looking completely confused. They don't know what to do, how to stop him. And unfortunately, we just are unable to finish that chance. We do come down again here with Royce, again on the dribble. We don't want to shoot, we want to score a nice little compilation goal. We keep dribbling and the keeper unfortunately saves that one again. But we do not give up there. We keep going on the dribble. We go around and around here and we kind of see um, a chance. We're trying to create a gap. It does just doesn't open up. We go out, we decide to come back inside and hit a volley. And Royce unleashes a beautiful volley which unfortunately hits the post before coming down again here with the final dribble which we do eventually score from finally as I'm sure you guys are thinking we do some great dribbling here good circle dribbling from Royce untouchable from the keeper there um, and the defenders before managing to just chip that ball into the back of the net okay so that pretty much brings it to the end of the gameplay so now I'm just gonna give you an overview of this card I'm gonna run through his stats what I think about him and pretty much just let you guys know if I think he is worth it or not so as you can see, I do end this review with 10 games, 18 goals, phenomenal goal return from a phenomenal player. Let's just get further into it. So looking at his pace, he's got 97 pace. The man is rapid. I mean, you know Royce is rapid. He's got the body type as well. He's not, he's not short. He's pretty tall as well. He's got the athletic build as well. He just feels rapid on the ball. He's really quick. So, you know, that's always great. His shooting is phenomenal. Give him a chance. He will tuck it away. He will finish it. He's not going to have any issues there. Um, specifically on his on his shooting, what stand out for me is his finesse shots, number one. Those were crazy good. Like, he leaves the keeper stranded a lot of the time, like, where they don't even move. So, finesse shots are incredible. His free kicks actually were really good as well. We scored, I think, three or four free kicks in this review alone. His free kicks are phenomenal. And another um, key part of his shooting is his volleys. His volleys are crazy. Like if you if you give him a volley, he tucks them away really well. He hits them with this like nice little loop, which just goes over the keeper's head. Um, you know his volleys are fantastic, and his outside foot shots are out of this world as well. His passing, uh, well, Royce is a creative player always. His passing is fantastic, as you would expect. I don't think that comes as a surprise. I mean, if his teammates make a run let that pass fly, unleash his creative um, his creative ability and he will find his teammates easily. He will create a lot of chances for his teammates as well. So, you know, that is phenomenal. His dribbling, again, crazy good on the dribble. Um, at the end, I'm sure you guys saw, I just tried to score a few dribbling goals there, show, showcase his dribbling a bit, do a few skills, do a bit of left stick and pretty much to show you um, his dribbling ability and showcase his dribbling ability so you guys kind of get an idea of what he can and can't do and as you saw there his dribbling is fantastic he is extremely responsive he is extremely fast in the dribble um, he has a really good left stick and when he gets going he is extremely difficult to tackle and the defenders really really do struggle to get a hold of him and you know couple that with his five star skills and you pretty much have one of the best um, the best dribblers in the game and that's hands down without a doubt okay moving on to his physical I mean not much to say about that it's a huge upgrade from his gold card but again Royce is not the strongest player in the game so don't expect him to be very strong he can hold his own like he doesn't get pushed off the ball too easily but you know don't expect him to hold off the bigger defenders but the point is when he is running through on goal he is running with the ball he can hold his own against defenders he doesn't get pushed off the ball he doesn't like fall into the floor you know he can run through um and he does have the strength and the power to get through without without worrying about the defenders uh pushing off the ball so you know all in all and as well he's got high stamina so he pretty much can run the whole game without any issues there so pretty much all in all what I think about this card is he is a phenomenal player in this game. He's a crazy good card. And to think he's only, I think, like 300k. I mean, honestly, I think he's a really, really cheap card. EA priced him really well. They did a good job there. So he is really cheap. And he is phenomenal. Like, he's fantastic. So for that price specifically, he is an exceptional player. He's really good. You'd be hard-pressed to find a better a better winger in the game than, than this Royce card. So, you know, compared to end of era Bale, I would say he's right up there, if not better than Bale. 
for me he was just a really good card to use really fun to use really exciting to play with as well and he just made my overall gameplay experience a lot more enjoyable so coming down to it i do 100 percent give this card the stamp of approval so if you want him please don't hesitate it's a cheap spc just go out there complete it far as easy to get at the state of the game complete this spc as fast as you can throw him into your team just watch him absolutely destroy your opponents help you getting a lot more wins and just watch him on his own single-handedly make your enjoyment level on this game skyrocket he will make the game a lot more fun for you he really is that good okay so anyway guys that pretty much brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did smash that thumbs up button leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already and until next time guys peace